an inspiring story reminding us all that no matter what life may throw our way, never stop fighting. Ike Ajachi has this story. Stepping into the ring for a fight can be daunting for anyone. But for Lorenzo Thomas, it's a fight he embraces, especially after what he's been through. Good. It feels good, you know, releasing the stress. I'm so just trying to do something with my life. Stacy Tucker says her son's been throwing punches long before getting into the ring. Lorenzo always have been a fighter. I could tell you that. It's a trait she says he got from his father, a cyclist who made it to the Seoul Olympics in 1988. He took up the cycling that he liked to do like his father. Was he good? He was good. He was great. He was great. But Lorenzo's active life came to a sudden halt on the night of August 11th, 2013. I got a knock on my door. So when I opened up the door, his friends that were with him that evening said to me, Lorenzo was hurt, he got shot. And I said, huh? What do you mean? Going down to the hospital, I was looking to see something horrific. But when me and my older son went in and we looked at him, he looked at peace. At that moment, did you think Lorenzo was gonna die? To be honest, no. Because my faith is that strong down, but not out. Lorenzo kept fighting. There's a reason for everything. There were so many things going on. He was in a coma for three days. They had to go in because he had fragments from the bullet wound that he, on this side of his head, the damage from the bullet caused a shift in his spinal cord on the top. He had a trach, he had to get a G-tube. They weren't sure if he was gonna make it. Lorenzo spent almost three months at Long Island's Winthrop Hospital, followed by several weeks in rehab. He had to learn to do a lot of things over again, to talk, to walk, to eat. He was like a newborn baby. I had to do everything for him. For six years, Lorenzo kept fighting, working so hard to finally reach the point where he could use a walker to get around by himself. In 2019, his fight entered a new round. Inspired by his Olympic father, Lorenzo decided to take his fight to the ring, which began with the ring of a phone. So when he called me, you know, it sounded like as if somebody was, had a little too much to drink, or they were trying to prank me. That's Michael Corleone, Lorenzo's coach and mentor in his gym in Hempstead, Long Island. Must have been about close to 10.30 in the morning. I see a gentleman on a walker trying to get to my front door. I ran to the door, I opened up the door. I felt like the biggest jerk because it turned out that this was a real phone call. Michael immediately put Lorenzo in gloves and began showing him the ropes. Uh, you can see that the want and the desire to do what it was I was asking him to do was there. So at the end of the workout, the mother asks me, okay, well, what do I owe you? And I says, ma'am, I did not ask you for money, did I? She says, no, but it can't be free. I said, really, why not? And if I say it's free, it's free. She says, why would you do that? I said, did you see the smile on that young man's face? That was payment enough for me. Mike is a sweetheart. He's compassionate and he's loving. And I see that with his relationship with Lorenzo. When he first came, the walking was difficult. Sometimes he'd come in with a walker, sometimes I'd have to, as he progressed, he would hold on to my arm. At a point now, the kid walks in, takes over the speed bag, and walks over to the sit-up board. I'm really the blessed one, because for what that kid has done, I, I get choked up. That's a boy. What that guy has done and given me to train him, I can't tell you. According to the American Association of Neurological Surgeons, people who suffer from traumatic brain injuries from gunshot wounds only have a 10% survival rate. 
Those who do make it live with severe damage to their cognitive and motor skills. But Lorenzo's motor skills have beaten the odds. And thanks to social media, Lorenzo's story has garnered nationwide attention, with some of his videos getting millions of views. I spent hours every day, every night, answering the messages that we get on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. How do you feel the fact that you may be an inspiration to others? Well, I'm glad to be an inspiration to others because I'm so young. I think that everyone can do something to the best of their abilities because it's all about moving forward. Life will knock you down. It's gonna be your job to get back up. How bad do you want it? Ike Ajachi, ABC News, One. Hempstead, New York. Two. Two. Turn that foot. That's a boy. Two. Three. Good job. Four, three. What an inspiration are thanks to Ike and Lorenzo for sharing his story. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.